Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like two or three days, four days, whatever. Let's the latest the video. Honestly, I've just been extremely exhausted. Um, and just how it felt like making a video. I'm so tired lately. Um, uh, no, I'm still tired. I feel much better. I finally had a good night's sleep. First one I've had in a long time. Yeah. It takes a toll on you when you're not able to sleep. Anyway, so I'm just doing a quick replay. This is me playing Jinzo, of course, because it's Jinzo, it's me. But this is Trip Stars. It was a fairly back and forth game. <coughs> I buy this that. Who remembers when California used to be at the three? Good days. If I knew I would have drawn into that, I would have, um, if you told me again, I could jump Jinzo. Yeah. He didn't understand why Call by the Grave, he went in and cut Call by the Grave. I'm like, wait, what? Why would you cut Call by the Grave? God, it's absolutely insane. I showed him why Call by the Grave is good. <clears throat> <laughs> Limited removal, baby. Hell to the fuck, yeah. That card be good. <laughs> and then, you know, call of the haunted back to Jinzo. At first, I was thinking about Armageddon, um, getting Armageddon Knight. So I'm ready for him to declare the attack. Not before the damage step, so I can negate that thing's effect. <coughs> This is really where the duel just went into completely into my favor. It was already in my favor, but this is where it's like he started to stall. He couldn't deal with 2400. <laughs> That's like the third one he's used. I limited removal two of them and then call out to go to the second one. That sucks to be him. Wait, what? How did he out the... Oh. Wait, okay. Anyway, so... He econs my... <laughs> oh, Jizzle Returner. <clears throat> Which is fine. And this is the visit to that, the attack, the token. Because he only has two tokens now. So he can't go into a big link foreplay. I forgot that happens when he's flip summoned, so that's why he, uh, was sad. I was hoping that I didn't have to switch in defense, but I realized, I just realized that either way he's gonna be in defense for a time, so it didn't really matter. But he didn't know what it was, so. I got that Jinzo Lord out. <laughs> I didn't need it, and I'm probably gonna cut him, he's okay, but. There's better cards. <clears throat> I was like, wait, why didn't you get blown up? And I remember it's in my end phase. I and mean, then, uh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> this happened. Two Jinzos, Jinzo Lord, Summon a Mug, and a Jinzo Jester. So, a deck profile. Here we go. One Dark on Dragon. This deck can manipulate the graveyard. Blah. It can control the graveyard quite easily, so Dark on Dragon is a really good boss monster. Gentle Lord, only one because he sucks. Um, honestly, wanted to cut him, but eh. That's like the first time I've ever summoned him. I've had the opportunity to summon him a lot, but uh, I just never felt like I need to summon him. Gen three Jinzos, because it's the name of the deck. It's the <laughs> it's Jinzo. G three Jinzo directors, three Jinzo returner, one Dog Grapher because I have a lot of High level dogs in here to pick on special summon. And everything's a dog, so everything can be discarded for his effect, except for Ash, obviously. One home again tonight, this card's really good, especially for dumping uh, Jinzo Returner when you have Jinzo in the grave. J this pretty much becomes a special summon one Jinzo from your graveyard, which is absolutely insanely powerful. Three summon a monk because of uh, Armageddon Knight, Dark Grapher, and 
Jekta, which Jekta also don't know what could you use. You could, uh, I'll show you later. Three Ash Blossom, because Ash Blossom. Duh. Monster Reborn. One Monster Gate. One Reasoning. One Green vs. The Army. Uh, again, set two targets. One Card Destruction. I don't think I've ever used Card Destruction ever a day in my life in this deck. Uh, one Fortish Burial, three limited removal, uh, everything machine except for these two. Dark Arm and Ash Blossom, you're never gonna summon Ash Blossom. And, so these are your only non-machine monsters, so. Oh, and seven of monsters. But you mean, still, so you play Palina Machine, so it's pretty good. In, uh, Inferno Reckless Summon, this card is MVP. You summon Jector off of, uh, Summon the Monk, you summon it off a of call. You summon this off Call of Haunted, or Monster Reborn, or something like that. You use, uh, in front of the summon, summon three Jinzos from anywhere. It's pretty good, that's, <laughs> you know. <coughs> <coughs> so, for my uh, other spells, Call by the Grave. Actually, I like putting Call by the Grave at the end. I'm weird like that, but, uh, three Call by the Grave, this card is absolutely insane. Um, it's won me so many games. It's just an amazing card of all. Three Lord of Darkness, because everything except for the three Ash Blossoms, I run 16 dots, so I have plenty of lore targets. Although I rarely even see a lore, it's weird. Three call by, uh, three call of the Haunted, because it's call. Uh, it's the only main deck trap I could play if it didn't permanent, uh, Phantasm Dragon, etc. But I just like the recurrence, the, uh, special summoning from the graveyard. Summoning back a Jinzo that you dumped is pretty busted. Like, like against Ultra Geist, for example, uh, and I actually done this in one. I used Armageddon Knight to dump Jinzo, and then, uh, <laughs> set Call the Haunted. I knew, I saw you playing Ultra Geist, he set a punch back, well, I in face Jinzo, uh, Call the Haunted special Jinzo, and he couldn't out that Jinzo, and, uh, I just won because he couldn't get rid of Jinzo. Um, three, uh, one Nightmare Mermaid, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Cerebus, one Nightmare Link Unicorn, one Nightmare Griffin, one Claire of Russia, the whatever. Um, this is actually pretty good because you can, uh, use Jinzo Returnal as a Link Summon for this, and then special summon a Jinzo from the graveyard. So. One apprentice witch, one we witch apprentice, one uh click core genius because they all machines. One proxy dragon. This is you trying to you link your opponent, which is rarely gonna happen, but it could. No, underclock taker. Great card. Uh, summon the so summon sorceress. Really, really good card. Try get wizard. Duh. Bull load. Bull sword. Uh, so you just, uh, this actually, the, uh, typological armor dragon. I forgot to put that in, but yeah. So for my side, three wing dragon spear mode, or uh, three wing dragon of all spear mode. The mass rem removal is pretty good. Dino Esso Prank Atop, this card is absolutely amazing. One Mugeki, uh, I just couldn't figure out what else to play as a one out, so. Double Twin Twister. Three even in permanence and three evenly match on my side. So uh that's my deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Then subscribe to anything in the below. I'll catch you guys later. This is the Jinzo. Say now. Bye.